This movie is gritty, dirty, violent, bloody, and I enjoyed it. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Sisu. It's an action war movie. The movie is told in chapters. I, I believe there's seven chapters. There's no talking in the first chapter. There's really there's really not a lot of dialogue in this movie. The main character doesn't say anything until the end of the movie. The movie takes place in 1944. It's the end of World War II. The Nazis are losing. And as they're leaving, you know, certain places, they just, it's called scorched earth. They're just destroying everything. And the main character is this gold miner. And you can see early on that he's been through some stuff. He's like cleaning up and he's putting the water on his body and the camera pans. And he has like a scar from like here all the way down. And he's, you know, just different bruises. And, you know, you're like, oh, he's he's dangerous. He's been through some stuff. So he just wants to get the gold and take it back to a bank. That's his whole goal. He packs up. And as he's leaving, he comes across these Nazis. And the first group, they just let him go. They're like, whatever. He's nobody. He's going into death. And then he comes across another group and that group is not so easy going. They're like, get off the horse and they start going through his things and they see he has gold and they're like, oh, we taking this. And he has to defend himself and you see the violence come out, but you, it's not automatic. He, you can see in him, like he doesn't want to do it until he has to. And it's just very, it's very good action. The other Nazis realize he has gold and they're like, we need to get this gold so we can start over. Rather than going home and being captured and everything, we take this gold, we go somewhere else, we start a new life. We got to get this gold. And they just constantly tracking this guy down. And this guy, he's capable, but he doesn't want to do any of that. He just wants to get to the bank with the gold. So he's constantly leaving and they're constantly chasing and he, he ends up killing them. And then they just keep chasing him. So at one point, he just, I don't want to say snaps, but he just, he looks, he has this look on him where he's like, I'm going to have to kill these guys. That That's it. That's the only thing I'm going to have to do, you know, because they're not going to stop. And it's just pure violence. Like, it's no real character development or anything. We get like a little backstory about who he is and like the legend of him. You know, they call him the immortal and everything. But other than that, there's, there's nothing. It's just a lot of great shots. And then violence in action so don't go and i know it's inspired by john wick but don't go in there expecting some great backstory or crazy gun fu. it's not a lot of fanciness or anything in what he does it's just very violent so that's sisu i enjoyed it you know because i didn't i didn't mind i laughed at some parts i know it wasn't supposed to be funny but i found it just hilarious and the action it's really well done. I like the way it's shot. I like the, the dirtiness and grit of it. You see the scars on his body as he's taking care of himself and stuff like that. So it does get, you know, if you can't handle all the blood and stuff. It may not be for you, but I enjoyed it. Have you seen the movie? Let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Deuces.